Hello and welcome to this video where I'll be explaining how much Jenkins I should know with experience of one to three years or if I'm a fresher and I'm looking for a job in the world of DevOps. This is a very common question I get when I interview people or when I teach is that how much should I learn? Should I learn everything in Jenkins or should I know just the basics? In this video, I'll try to explain this. So hold on to me and you will get the answer based on how you have prepared also in Jenkins using which you can upgrade yourself by learning more things. Before I go ahead, let me tell you that I have just released a new Udemy course called as 50 DevOps interview questions and answer where I explain 50 unique different questions in the world of DevOps also, I tell you how to answer them. If you are interested, a coupon code is there in the description. You can use that. Also, if you are new to the world of DevOps and, uh, or you're having some questions around DevOps, you can reach out to me and set up a 30 minutes free discussion. And the link also for that is in the description. Now let us come to the topic. How much Jenkins should I know with three, one to three years of experience? Here I'm focusing around one to three years of experience people or who are freshers in terms of IT. Okay. And you want to get into the world of DevOps. We learn Jenkins whenever we learn DevOps. Why? Because it is one of the most famous open source automation tool available or CI CD tool required for us to deploy anything into production or build any service. Hence, it is a technology. When we learn Jenkins, there are a lot of topics around Jenkins. The question now we have is how much should I know? And I'll try to answer this. There is something called as basics of Jenkins, which just explains the architecture of Jenkins, how it works. And it also explains the freestyle setup of any Jenkins job. This is definitely not enough if you are going for an interview. So what should I learn? So if you join any DevOps training, they will teach you till here and they might go to the next topic because of time constraints or whatever it is. But the challenge here is they have made the foundation, but now you have to go ahead and learn a bit more to enrich this knowledge. Please note that no one will be able to teach you everything, right? but they have laid the foundation. So now the foundation is done around Jenkins. So what should I learn next? The first one, you have to learn about agents and multi node setup of Jenkins. This is very important how to do this. And you can do, do this for free in AWS or Azure. Next, you have to understand how to spin up Docker agents also in Jenkins. Three, you have to understand about multi-branch pipeline in Jenkins. Because in the companies, they tend to use multi-branch pipeline. They will not be using freestyle there, okay? Point number four, you should understand how to handle plugins and what are the most common plugins that are present, like Slack plugin, email plugin, etc. Five, you need to understand about secrets, how secrets are handled in Jenkins. And point number six, you can understand also about blue ocean dashboards. Okay. Now, as a cherry on the top, if you are super interested in learning something more, you can also understand how to monitor Jenkins. So what happens if Jenkins goes down? How do I monitor it? How do I set it up? All of this. So, in summary, we will be learning around uh, the basics of Jenkins in any training or any course that you take. But that is just the foundations for you. And after that, you have to also enrich all of these seven other topics that I just explained here, which also plays a very important role for you. When you understand all of these seven different topics, now you are in a bit of an advanced state of Jenkins where you have understood a bit more use cases and this will help you in the interview. Just knowing the bare basics of Jenkins 
will help you for sure, but it is just getting started. Hence, if you are anyone who is watching this video, if you are anyone who is attempting a DevOps job, you have understood Jenkins. Now using this information that I have shared in the video, evaluate yourself. How much do I know? And am I ready to take an interview upon? If not, go ahead and learn all of these seven topics. You can find plenty of resources for doing the same using which you will be able to enrich your Jenkins knowledge. Well, I think I have answered it pretty clearly. If you have understood some topics here, don't forget to like the video. And if you also have any questions in your mind, please mention it in the comment box. I will answer it as a part of the videos that will come in the future. That is it for this video, my friends. Speak to you in the next video very soon. Till then, take care and thank you.